Hey YouTube, I want to show you a few things that I learned over the past few days about the detector rail and the power drill. Um, I'm going to start at lesson one though because although you may have seen some things, um, I wanted to give you a complete overview. So uh, that means starting at step one, how to make them. To um, to make a powered version. Well, actually, I'll get to that. It's it's actually an unpowered version until you put power to it. To make a powered reel, you need six gold ingots. You need one stick. You need one redstone, and you'll receive six powered reel to make. Um, a detector rail. You need six iron ingots. You need not a stick. You need redstone. You need one redstone. And you need one pressure plate. And you will receive six detector rail. Um, the powered rail actually are named a bit wrong, in my humble opinion because they act as powered rail when you apply power to them but until you actually know that they are unpowered rail and in your inventory and on the floor there's no difference between the name of a powered rail that's unpowered and a powered powered rail uh, you'll already notice my confusion so I'm just going to refer to them as either powered rail or unpowered rail. Just a heads up. Excuse me there. Um, so that's lesson one, how to make them. Lesson two, uh, lesson two part one actually about uh, powered rails. Um, there are various ways to actually provide power to them. I have a pressure plate over here. I have a switch over here and even the detector actually gives power to it. Um, so yes, that was also briefly glancing into lesson two, the detector version. Uh, the detector um, provides power to a circuit that you um, wire to the side. Also, um, the adjacent blocks get lit up. That's also actually part two of the part two lesson of the <laughs> total story. Um, as you can see here, lesson one, detecting one, if cord touches, detector power flows sideways. And lesson two was, lesson one, detecting two, detector rail will power adjacent power rail. Actually, it will power several power rail. Um, I'm going to head over here to actually show that. I'm going to put down one source of power and this is actually zero as I would call it because that actually m makes um, sense in a technical <laughs> way, in a program way um, because this gets activated and then the adjacent eight get also powered by it and that works both ways. So it's 17 total. I left one in, uh, I left one aside that intentionally here, so you can see that this one doesn't receive any power at all. Mm. Okay, enough time. Um, so the powered wheels will only 
work when there's actually power to it. If if there's power to it, it will boost the minecart. If there isn't, it will serve as a break. I'll just quickly demonstrate that here. I'm to give this a little push, and it goes a few um, reels. If I push this one, it will stop that in its track when it touches the powered reel. So hence my uh, uh, my earlier <laughs> debate and my definition that this is a unpowered rail. This is a powered rail. Although both are factually called powered rail. Um, the um, detector will power not just the the adjacent track and uh, a track that you hook up to it, but whatever you hook to it, it will uh, get activated. I made a nice little tiny circuit here that activates the music box or the, the what's it name? Doesn't matter. Um, lesson three. I skipped a few steps, but I think that's most of it. Lesson three: um, momentum. Because it's it's uh, the boost will kind of will um, only really give a boost uh, to the momentum. It, as as shown, if there's if there is a car here, and I, so it has no momentum, and I uh, place a card on the detector, it will light it up, uh, but it won't actually give it a boost because there's no momentum to boost in the first place. Interestingly, um, when the um, mine card travels over the detector, the detector will uh, also power the adjacent uh, powered rail or unpowered until powered. So uh, you can make use of that because when, well, you, you could make use of it, but it's a bit fiddly. Um, as you can see here, it it, um, it gives it a boost, but um, for one, the track is just a bit too short, and uh, two, it um, if it would work, come on, work, work. If it would work, um, you will see that the detector stops putting power into this pretty much the moment that the card actually leaves the detector pad. What this means is that if you have a um, if you have half a dozen unpowered rail behind the, de the detector uh, only the first four I believe will actually get power from it by the time you reach the third block, the first won't have any power anymore and it will start working as a brake because everything loses its power. Uh, I hope I didn't uh, throw you off there, but I may have an example of it somewhere. Whatever the case may be, the most practical way to actually boost them is um, not by relying on the detector to provide current, but to have another circuit or a um, torch or lever or button or something, anything powering just the unpowered track. Um, back once more to the unpowered track. Here's another great example of the unpowered track actually serving as a brake. 
and you can use that um, that little technique pretty much in um, in your uh, tracks. It's quite nifty because it'll fail um, if this was not on. Oh, it's bugging out thanks to the pig. Still, if this wasn't on, it would actually break this car um, and it will give me the ability to show you something about the difference between these two tracks. Um, which was my earlier point about it um, about momentum. It the, the powered rails will boost the momentum of a cart. It won't boost it if it's standing still. Um, to show that there is a difference between how much powered uh, rail there is. Um, I made this little setup. There is also a difference between a manned and unmanned cart, so I'm going to show all four combinations. Uh, this is the furthest out, but typically with one, it will go about a dozen or so blocks. Not sure how much, but I made this nice little pink marker here where where it stopped in my examples. Uh, so if if there's two more powered rails compared to this track, and obviously one more in length, you'd expect that it would be about three blocks further. Let's show if that happens. actually gives it a bit more boost than that. And the difference is mostly visible if it's actually occupied. And that time already. And here you can also already see um, see a good practice example of how you can use the unpowered powered rail and a lever in your minecart system. So this is one. Two laps. So three laps and it's slowing down to a crawl. And that was on the one booster track. Let's compare the difference. Hmm. So we have one. You can already see it going much faster. Two. Three. 